Welcome back to Battlefront, and we're back on Mustafar. Preventative measures. The Separatist threat is stirring again and lingers in orbit around Mustafar. Hmm. Doesn't sound fun. Wait, so it's Imperials versus the droids? Oh. Uh. Should be interesting. I thought the droids were on our side. That's uh, complicated. They're still on the other side. Our side hasn't switched at all, but just our enemies have. Does that make oh, sense? Oh, that's weird. Yeah, it's like... Yeah, because first off, we were fighting the droids. Now we're fighting the rebels. But now we're fighting the droids again. They're mm. both bad, but... So now we're just gone against everybody, basically. Pretty much. Hmm. Yeah, we're... The morality system is very complicated in Star Wars. <laughs> oh. Preventative measures. Dijor Delso, a Genosian fugitive from the Clone Wars, has reactivated a battle droid army in the Mustafar system. The 501st is in the system, but its Star Destroyer has been boarded by Delso's forces. Repel the enemy borders and take the fight to them. Oh, hmm. right. Oh, yeah. So it's in space. Was this another flying one? Yeah. All right. Looks like we got a repel border. Our narrator's coming back. Oh god, I love this guy. Although the Clone Wars were over, some people never seemed to get the message. The worst case of denial was Gizor Delso, a Geonosian separatist who'd somehow escaped Lord Vader's efforts to wipe out the remnants of the CIS. Lord Vader tracked him to Mustafa and brought us in to finish the job. It seemed like a simple enough mission. But when we saw the fleet of droid ships hovering over the planet, we suddenly realized that Delso's denial mechanisms were a little more dangerous than we'd imagined. Huh. Hmm. Jeez. Uh, All right. Okay. Guess I'll be a marine. I don't know, I'll be a pilot. Yeah, that's probably easier if you're a pilot. Yeah. Oh, guess I should have been a marine. <laughs> Got to oh, repel. Not flying yet. Repel borders. Oh, there's the droids. Look at them all. Pesky little guys. Yeah. Remind me of ants. Yeah. They look like ants a bit less skeletal. Let's squish them under our feet. Yeah. They got guns, so it might be a little hard to do that. Oh. Oh, that didn't do it. Put a bomb under. There we go. Okay. Almost out of health. Already. Wish I had a grenade or something I could toss over there. But... You don't have any as a pilot, I guess? No, I just have time bombs. Time bombs? Mm. So, what, you just have to kill a bunch of these guys right now? Yeah. Oh, I'm finding rockets at it. Come on. Bomb. There we go. Yeah, it takes a while to blow up. Oopsies. <laughs> I accidentally dropped the bomb. Oh. Ah, oh, still not gone, man. Okay. Go on a suicide mission. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Oh. Because it wasn't a suicide mission. Oh. oh. There we go. Oh, yeah. Destroyed the smithereens. Oh. And we are dispatching their fighters and bombers. Ah, oh, I'm dead. Oh, right, it's in heaven. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got bombers and fighters in our hangar now. Excellent. Now we can pilot out there. Yeah. But we still got droids in the hangar. Come on. Okay. There we go. Okay. Oh, oh, another still one. Still a bunch of them. What yeah. are they trying to do? I don't know. They're, I guess they're stuck, so they're trying to do as much damage as they can. Oh. Well, it seems to be working. Yeah. Oh, look at that gun. Jeez. It's crazy. Rocket launcher. Okay, time intercept. Oh yeah. So this is pretty much faster and more deadly than the standard TIE fighter. Okay. But it's got a bit less armor. Which is actually not what the actual time interceptor in the uh, Star Wars universe is. Well, it's the actual one. It's actually an upgrade on the TIE Fighter, so it's got better armor, faster, more deadly. But I guess it'd be too cheap for a video game. Yeah. 
Yeah. There's actually an even better one, the Kai Defender. It's got like three wings, and it's intense. It's got actually shields. Oh, wow. It's way faster. It's. Did we get to use that in this game? No. There's another game called TIE Fighter that you get to play with it. <laughs> of course. Yeah. You actually get to fly a lot of ships. Not just TIE Fighters, you know? It's really old, though, so... Uh, there they aren't they all. Yeah. What about LEGO Star Wars? You get to fly it in those? No. I think that's the only game you actually get to fly it in. Hmm. I guess since it's so powerful. You can't really have it as an enemy, otherwise you're... Yeah, you're screwed. Oop, asteroid. Here we go. So what are we trying to do right now? Just trying to blow up some droid starfighters. Sounds good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh. There we go. Uh-oh, missile. Oh. There we go. Three fighters left. Are you on fire right now? Yeah, because I've got barely any health and this will hit me. Oh jeez. Better land. Yeah. I thought you said the pilots could repair their ships in this. I am actually repairing it if you watch closely. Yeah. Oh yeah, slowly it's going up. Yeah. Let's try and avoid fire. Oh, two fighters left. Oh, you only got one fire, or one ring of fire. Oh, there we go. Incoming missile. Uh oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh, oh the fire's back. No. Oh, there we go. now I've just got sparks coming out. <laughs> Way better. Ah, there we go, one fighter left. Yeah, my homing missiles are awesome. They're handy in this game. Yeah. Those lasers are a little hard to hit with. Oh, there, there we go. go. Done. Boom. Objective oh, yeah. complete. What I have to do? Oh, we gotta destroy their shields. Can't really do that with my time deceptor, though. No? You yeah. gotta go land and get a new ship? Yeah. If I want to get a bomber. I wonder if they've got bombers in their hangar. Hmm. <laughs> Steal one of theirs? Nah. Nah, I think I'll go back home. Oh, going pretty fast. Yeah. Kill on fire. Gotta get back. Uh oh. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> what happened the there? Get the side of the ship there. Oh well. At least you're back in the hangar. Yeah. There we go. Nice bomber. Let's go blow up a ship. Yeah. Bomb. I wonder how big a factor you need to build a ship like this. Yeah. Like a... Like you look at the ship, the factories in real life for our planes and they're huge. Mm -hmm. Imagine building one of these things. And like a factory in space or something. Yeah. So, Shipyard, yeah. Yeah, like the size of a whole planet. Mm. I guess there is probably planets to do that in this, though. Yeah. Actually, in the Star Wars universe, there's um, a planet called Coat. It's actually got shipyards that go all around the planet, so it looks like a big ring. Oh. And they make these big ships? Yep. Yeah, pretty much any ship. <laughs> <laughs> I'm horrible at landing. I'll show you a picture of Coat, actually. Lovely planet there. Yeah. Alright, what are we trying to do now? Okay, we need to land inside the, uh, oop. <laughs> Man. I'm not that great of a pilot. We gotta uh, land inside the enemy ship. Okay, and take him down from within. Yeah. Hopefully if we can I get to it. won't crash into any other ships. Oh, the asteroids, man. Alright, steady. Know how to do this. Okay. Not too high, not too low. Just in the middle. There we go. There we go. Okay, I gotta steal that bomber there. Okay. Man, there's so many droids, man. Oh, jeez. Okay. That's easy. Flat him right next to it. Boom. That's it. Yeah, that was easy. Hopefully, I don't hit any asteroids or the side of the ship or anything on my way back. Oh, yeah. Ah, let's just blow up the ship here. Steady. Doing my service. Incoming account. missile. Oh no. Whew. There we go. Blew it up. Now I just gotta get home. Okay. Okay, it's gonna take some fancy flying. So you know what? I'll go turn.
turn around so I can get a nice. Yeah, we nice don't want to repeat it the last ten times. Yeah. I don't think it was ten times. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Here we go, nice and easy. Ooh, steady, ooh. steady. Here we go. Oh, uh, yeah. There we go. Just land this guy right here. Yeah. There you go. Now, what's next? Save my interceptor out. I think we have another delayed victory coming. Hopefully. May as well blow some more guys up while we're here. Yeah. Like usual. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. I don't know why I had to take a ship into the hangar, though. What does that accomplish? <laughs> Who knows? The slight whiff of nostalgia the 501st had enjoyed fighting the droid fleet over Mustafa had already grown sour by the time we'd established orbital positions. Now it was time to find out what this was all about. Dun dun dun. Okay. Guess we'll go down to Mustafar next part. Adios. Farewell.